Hi everybody, Carl Hausman here in the Bat Cave, and I wanted to take a minute to go over the last email that I sent, give you an update on where we are. Where are we? Well, the landing gear have come down and we're beginning our descent. Basically two milestones to go. One, as outlined in the email, is your business plan. Now remember that this is your business plan, not someone else's. This is what you want to do. And that's why we did the personal platform inventory, so you could get an idea of your strengths and adapt what you're interested in, what your strengths are, into a business plan for something that you would want to pursue. I should mention that I believe that a few people who have taken this course before have actually implemented parts of these. So it's very important, even if you don't do it, you've had the experience of putting together a plan and seeing how everything fits together. So remember, this is what you want to do. This is your business. Originally, of course, this was supposed to be a shark tank type of presentation. We can't do that in isolation, but you do want to put together the type of business plan that has the details that would allow you to go before some investors and say, here, back me in this venture. Be sure that you use these headings. It's not so much a matter of just following detail, although that's important, following instructions. It's because this will put in, by default, everything that you need to have in it. This is a pretty standard way of putting together a business plan. There are all different ways, but this is one that I think is very useful, comes from the uh, government, and make sure you follow it. All you have to do is Put these subheads in it and basically fill in the blanks. Do your research. Fill in the blanks. The final exam. The final exam is going to be scheduled for May 5th and May 6th. It'll begin early in the morning on uh, May 5th, actually 12.01, and conclude at the end of the day, 11.59 on May 6th. You can't see it yet, but when you can, when the window opens up, you will just go to the Blackboard page and it will be right there. Open it up, make sure that you can complete it in one sitting, that's important. I'm gonna have it set for two hours, don't go beyond that. Uh, you should be able to complete it in one hour. It's going to be fairly straightforward. It's uh, five questions, short answers, maybe three paragraphs each, and I'll give you directions in each question. And you just wanna sit down, look through it, Make sure you know where you want to go with it. Don't get hung up on one question. Yes, you can refer to your notes. You can refer to anything you want because there's no way to stop that. Don't collaborate. That's cheating. And I can usually detect if it's been done. I don't suspect anybody of doing that. I just wanted to say, this is your test. Do it alone. Don't talk with anyone else about it. You have the whole 48 hour window in which to get it done. One more time. Be sure that you allow yourself time, the total two hours, where you won't be interrupted, that you can complete it and file it. I can't give any more important advice than to view the lectures. There really aren't that many. View the lectures and go over that summary that I sent out that gives you a lot of information that you will need to complete this. The questions are all fairly straightforward. There is one that is a little bit tricky, involves some thinking, but you can get partial credit for it even if you don't get the, the very specific answer. But the point I'm getting at is try to relate this information to the overall. When you look at uh, the summary in particular, Think about how these different measures interact with each other and why they're important. That's the critical part, why they're important. So that's pretty much it. All you have to do is go through those lectures, take careful notes. You won't have time to go back and watch the thing for the first time. Be sure that you go through the lecture and write down the important points. So that's it. Thank you very much. Have a good week. Stay safe.